In this video, we will learn about altitudes of triangles. If you have a triangle, then you can draw an altitude from each of the three vertices of the triangle, or each of the three angles. From this vertex, the altitude would be this. The altitude is always a line that is perpendicular to the side opposite a vertex. It turns out also that an altitude will always be the height of the triangle from the opposite base. In this case, the altitude was inside of the triangle, but sometimes the altitude will be outside of the triangle. For example, if you have an obtuse triangle, such as this one, where one angle is bigger than 90 degrees, then the altitude from this point here will be outside of the triangle. In order to see it, you should extend the base and then drop a perpendicular line from this point. So the altitude would be right here, outside of the triangle. In the obtuse triangle, even though this altitude is outside of the triangle, if you were to think about the altitude from this vertex, it would be inside of the triangle. So it's possible in one triangle for some of the altitudes to be outside of the triangle and some to be inside the triangle. Like with other special line segments in triangles, all three altitudes do something interesting when you look at them all at the same time. So let's go into Geometer's Sketchpad to investigate this. In Geometer's Sketchpad, we have a random triangle that could be made into any triangle we want by simply moving our points. In order to create the altitudes, I have to create a perpendicular line from each segment through the opposite vertex, such as that. So let me create the other two altitudes. In this case, the three altitudes intersect way off the screen. So let's change this triangle so that we can see what happens. As I move the triangle, you can see that the three altitudes do intersect in a point. This point is called the orthocenter. And the orthocenter will exist no matter what triangle you create. Sometimes it's just off of our screen here. The orthocenter doesn't have any special properties besides the fact that it's the intersection of all three altitudes of a triangle. Where the orthocenter is in relation to the full triangle depends on what type of triangle it is. For acute triangles such as this one, the orthocenter is inside of the triangle. If you make it a right triangle, the orthocenter is then on the triangle at the right angle. As the triangle becomes an obtuse triangle, the orthocenter is outside of the triangle, way up here. So in general, what you should remember is the altitudes of a triangle intersect at a point that's called the orthocenter. And where the orthocenter is in relation to the triangle depends on what type of triangle it is, acute, obtuse, or right. 